Hello. I thought I thought we had to talk about this, man. You can't just fall asleep in front of my. All right, hold on. Let me get my mail. Let me just get my mail, and then you know I'll bring you upstairs. And we'll we'll get you sorted out for the evening, okay? But this is the last time. I swear. All right, here. Let's just give me. Come on. Let's go. All right. I gotta let the door in and. No, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. It's no problem. All right, this time, this time. But I'm telling you, man, you're heavy. Speaking of my mailroom floor, we got a package from Elite Obsolete today. Now I am very excited to see what's in it. As you can see, the internal envelope has not been opened. I'm opening this for the first time, and hopefully, I mean, I'm sure you guys already know what's in here because you probably read the title of the video. So let's just cut the foreplay. All right, well that was a surprise, but we got a bigger battery, an opening tool. There it is. This is the Pest de la Resistance. Thank you, thank you. We'll just give it some, just give it some friends. Gotta give it some more friends. It doesn't have enough friends. Where are all of its friends? There we go, there we go. All right, I'll stop being weird. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yes, so let's take a look at the glorious, I hope, we'll see what we get. The thing about these that I've heard is that these are, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, it's a little more subtle than I thought it would be. Hey, that's not bad. That's a look. All right. So this is obviously one of the new atomic faceplates that are now being offered on EOE. I'm sure you can find these elsewhere. If you'd like to buy them somewhere else, that's fine. But that is uh, direct from EOE. So I, I did uh, talk to Austin about these when he after he released them, and he said like, oh, they're you know, they're hand uh, handmade still, and um, there can be some variance there when it comes to how they look. So. I believe that means that one to the next might be a little bit different in its coloration. And also that um, obviously it's out of a package. It's it's not a new transparent faceplate sealed from the factory. It had to be, you know, modified in order to get this look from an original transparent faceplate. And now we'll look at the accessories that we're planning on putting in with it. That's a nice sticker. I might steal that. All right that aside for right now accessory time man it's been forever since we've taken a look at the inside of an ipod eh? i'm looking forward to this red click wheel mm. Mm. see where i'm going with this oh that might be nice and an lg 3800 milliamp hour battery that should be a nice upgrade from the stock battery in my daily driver and yes I do use this thing, well, maybe not every day, but nearly every day. And yeah, we're gonna be modifying my mustard boy as much as I do like my mustard look, despite how much Austin ragged on me for it. Made a bunch I don't of wanna roast noise. you in front of your viewers, but that is a whack-ass color combo. A whack-ass color combo? On my keyboard, you mm -hmm. mean? Or, no, the, or... the yellow and gold. Really? And you I... too, as well. It's the golden nugget, man. I That's thought that one was of the ugliest iPods I've oh, ever man. seen. I love it. It's true. <laughs> Making fun of my little iPod. Making me feel bad. Just kidding. It is pretty whack, to be honest with you. I'm thinking now it'll be more like a like a Shirley Temple. Hmm? Kind of. Kind of. Ooh. Ooh, it'll be kind of Shirley Temple-y. Without further ado, I'm gonna start cracking into this, I hope. Let's do it. My tool! My tool! What am I gonna do? I dropped my EOE tool. Uh, oh, it's okay. I found it, I found it. We're okay. Put those back. Like that. So you don't wanna go as deep as the metal is. You just wanna sort of crack it. <clears throat> okay. Boom. Boom, and it's off, and we're in. Now I just wanna press down, start popping some clips. Down, there we go, we got one. 
That's definitely two. You know what? I've got a few more tools. Why don't we just try to preserve this as much as possible, seeing as this is working pretty well. These aftermarket kits can be pretty tight. Multiple EOE tools does help, so why not? You know what? I'm going to use one more EOE tool. Just kidding. I'm going to rip this one out and put it over there. Boom. Okay, we're making some real good progress here. Which one can come out next? Probably you. You're not doing a whole lot. Well, you're doing more than you look, actually. We want to get this top going here. This top feels like it's still holding on. There we go. And we're popped. And with that, these can all come out. Didn't really do any damage to the side. And she is looking ready to come apart. Okay. And there it is. That way. Just be careful of the ribbons. Nothing bad should happen. Inside's a little dusty, but nothing too bad. Yeah, overall, held in pretty good, you know? The eye flash is in there. The battery is in there. Um, there are Samsung cards in there. Um, yeah, well built, holding together just fine. So I'm just gonna grip it on either side, lift up slightly. There it is, see? As long as you grip it on both sides with a pair of tweezers, um, and you just lift up very slowly. I find that the battery latch pops out no problem. This captain tape from the back of the LCD. Disconnect it from the eye flash. The eye flash ribbon has already been lifted here. Oh, there we go. Get our original battery out. Just gotta get this thing out of here without ripping it. There we go. All right. So I find simply just spudging up this side of the board, lifting the adhesive slightly is enough to get the click wheel ribbon out. So the problem is it has to come sort of back and out. So the first trick is getting it lifted up and over this rim, ridge, sorry, in the frame and over and out of that socket, just like that. And then once it's free, instead of removing the whole board, like you're told you need to, just get yourself one of these like little plastic spudgers or whatever, get in between the hole for it, lift it just slightly while keeping pressure on the frame. And you should be able to just eh, eke it out. Just wanna be careful not to damage the microchip on the quick wheel. Boom. Now, whether or not you can do this gapping method to get out your click wheel will obviously depend on the reconstruction methodology that has been done to your iPod, right? Like if this has been, um, glued down, you have to deal with that glue. We don't have to deal with that with these aftermarkets. Um, and then, you know, unless you decide to, but I recommend that you don't peel the glue on the uh, this side of the connector because it just makes it harder to remove. Um, you know, if this factory glue that holds in the um, motherboard is super strong still, instead of being like, this has been done by EOE. So there's just this nice piece of um, really thin double-sided tape here. It could be a lot more difficult and you might not just be able to lift the board from the corner. Um, generally speaking, that's poor advice as well. You know, flexing a motherboard to get something out is not really a good idea overall, but uh, you know, for the sake of time and not having to, you know, put strain on the entire board, I'd rather just lift that section. Just going to remove zip plastic, make sure everything's lining up the same. Gotta use something legitimately soft when cleaning the LCD. A little bit of breath. Nice eyeglass washer, cloth, whatever you want to call it. Okay. All seems to fit together quite well. There's what our final result should look like underneath that plastic. Very cool. Just lock in the little zip connector here. Put a little 
open in it. There we go. Did that seem to go in all the way? Yeah, it seems like it did. Oh man, I can't wait to see this thing. I'm so excited, dude. We've made one critical error. Our hold switch. All right, so before going any further, I want to just quickly power it on, see if we have life, which we do. Bam, son. Click wheel seems to be working. And bam, she's in. There's the reveal. Back. Front. Hmm. It's kind of like, I was hoping it'd be more like a Shirley Temple, but now it's starting to look more like a McDonald's iPod. Not that I'm against that. Quite an interesting result, wouldn't you say? But anyway, one way or another, I think they're pretty friggin' neat. I'm excited to run this for a while. What do you guys think about the new atomic faceplates that are on the market now? They're pretty sweet if you ask me. Not sure if I'm gonna keep this combo forever or switch back to the yellow. Uh, time will tell, but I mean, thank you so much for watching this video, checking out the plates with me. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about the atomic faceplates or anything like that that this video didn't cover, please feel free to drop me a line in the comments. I always love uh, seeing what you guys have to say. And uh, as always, I'll see you next time.